Joining us to react, we welcome Can Kansas Congressman Tracy Mann. Uh, Congressman, thanks so much for taking the time. I see you shaking your head, clearly upsetting allegations made by the Texas governor here. Uh, what are your thoughts on what's happening at these facilities and maybe the reason why you believe we are dealing with the crisis at our southern border right now? <laughs> Outrageous, heartbreaking. I just returned last night from the southern border. Um, led a delegation with some other freshmen down to McAllen, Texas. Um, th th this is a disaster. This is a humanitarian crisis. There's some pictures from our trip. You know, this is the result of Biden and Harris's open border policies. This is disastrous. Uh, we learned a lot about sexual abuse of these migrant children all the way from the southern border of Mexico as they're traveling through, um, done by the cartels. They're the cartels are making hundreds of millions of dollars on our open border policies. The Mexican cartels are the winners. Innocent children are the losers. This is absolutely the wrong policy. It needs to end now. Yeah, as you say, innocent children, and you think about the journey that these kids have had to make. Of course, uh, you know, parents wouldn't send their kids alone through the desert unless they thought they would be taken care of in the United States. And as you say, sort of the promises that were made along the campaign trail might lead to that. But keep that in mind, because we are hearing now from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi saying uh, this about how the way the situation at the southern border is being handled. Listen. We're on a good path at the border under leadership of Joe Biden, President Biden. Uh, there is, it's about... It's about restructuring how we do what is happening there because we were in a very bad situation under the Trump administration. Where do you think she's getting that idea? You, you visited the border. Is it on a good path? A different planet. I mean, we, we were, I was there yesterday. Yeah. I looked in the eyes of these kids. This policy is disastrous. Um, the speaker needs to wake up. The administration needs to wake up to how we are hurting these children. I saw them. I talked to them. I heard about their sexual abuse as they're traveling through Mexico. Um, she's either turning a blind eye or is misinformed. Either way, it's bad for America. Our country should be the shining city of a hill on the hill and a beacon of freedom to the world. But these open border policies are declining our nation. This is not who we are. Um, she needs to go and see it firsthand, as does President Biden, as does Vice President Harris. They need to understand and get real about this issue. Yeah, we know they haven't made a trip quite yet, waiting to see if perhaps they will, especially uh, the so-called border czar Kamala Harris, who has been appointed to oversee it, still not taking a trip. But, but you know, before we get to that specifically, too, we're also hearing that the government is forcing so-called sanctuary cities to now cooperate with ICE, um, potentially to handle the overflow, the surge that we're seeing at the border. Uh, but this does make you wonder if perhaps this would expand the crisis, not just to border states, but all states with sanctuary cities within our country. Is that how you see it? Every city should be cooperating with ICE. Uh, they're here to protect us. What needs to happen are three things. Number one, we need to end these disastrous open border policies that, again, are enriching the cartels, but are hurting innocent children. Number two, we need to secure the border. Uh, it's ridiculous that, that, that the border construction, the wall system construction has stopped for no reason other than politics. And then number three, we need to work to develop a legal immigration system. I'm for legal immigration. We need workers for agriculture and other industries, but these disastrous open border policies need to end and they need to end now. We've heard previously from members of the Biden administration sort of explain what we're seeing, the surge at the border right now, uh, blaming it on the prior administration, Trump's policies, also saying perhaps that it's a cyclical trend, the fact that we see surges and dips. Uh, you're shaking your head again. Clearly, that's not how you see it. When you're there and you, yeah. we talk to these kids, the trip um, takes from Honduras, Guatemala, around 28, 30 days. Um, they said that they, a lot of them saw Facebook ads from the cartels saying if they come to America, they can get in. It is absolutely not true um, th th that, that this is a result of the last administration. We did not have this crisis um, in early January. This crisis is here now, and it's getting worse, and it's because of the failed policies and signaling and messaging from President Biden, Vice President Harris. Uh, this open border policy is disastrous. It's caused a human crisis. They need to acknowledge 
their mistake for what it is and work to fix it. I want to just bring in partially some of our, our top news of the day. We're waiting an announcement from the president on executive orders regarding guns. Um, again, this is coming at a time where you're saying we're dealing with the current crisis at the border. Talk to me about the timing of, again, this executive action we're waiting to come through and also, um, you know, the priorities that we're seeing from the Biden administration. We're seeing the wrong priorities. These executive orders, you know, the Biden administration has issued more executive orders their first few days in office in the last seven presidents combined. Um, I released legislation that would put a waiting period on all of these executive orders. Uh, what they're getting ready to do today, now they're weakening our Second Amendment while they're weakening our borders, uh, while, they're stretching the, while they are strengthening the Mexican cartels and hurting innocent kids. These policies make no sense. Mm -hmm. That's Congressman Tracy Mann of Kansas joining us here on National Report. Congressman, we appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thanks for taking interest in these issues. You got it.